Hey guys, welcome back. So today I can't actually believe that I'm going to be doing my January favourites. I don't think I've actually done a favourites video since October, so it feels like forever since I've actually sat down and talked about some products that I've really, really been loving. And I just actually can't believe it's now the end of January. I'm so excited because it means it's not that long until I go away on holiday. And I'm just really happy to get January out of the way. It's probably my least favourite month of the year. Um, and yeah, and next month is Valentine's Day, or depending on when you watch it, it might already be um, February. And I love like having all the nice little treats. And um, I've got some quite exciting Valentine's Day videos that I'm going to be doing in February. So today I'm going to be doing my January favourites. And if you're interested, then keep watching. So first of all, I'm actually going to start off with some makeup products. And one of the things that I've really been loving is a little bit, I suppose I'm a bit late on the bandwagon here, but it's the Benefits um, Their Real Mascara. Now, I really like it. I don't love it. So, but it has been something that I've been using throughout the whole of January. Now, um, it doesn't smudge on me, which is a really good thing. It, it does see, it does work really, really well on my lashes, and I do really like the effect that it gives but I do feel that it's a little bit weighty and I do find like on, I think it's this side, my eyelashes don't go up as much as they do on this side and I do feel it weighs it down a little bit. So that's my only thing I would say, but I really like the real black look that it's got. I like um, how, like putting it on is really easy. I like that it's got the little bobbly bit right at the end of it um, when I want to, um, the bit like right down the end when I want to separate. Um, my lashes that works really really well and it doesn't smudge on me and it's not waterproof so that is a big bonus to me because I always usually have to wear waterproof mascara so it was quite expensive um, it's obviously been spoken about loads on YouTube but that is something I've really been loving throughout January the next product um, is what I've got on my lips right now and it's what I've worn in quite a lot of videos and a lot of you have really liked it um, and I was a little bit I'm a little bit late to this when I bought I bought it and then I, I didn't really use it and then suddenly I thought okay I'm going to give it a go and then I've grown to really really love it and I want to get a few more colours I think there's um, there's like two more colours I want to get one's like a really soft like pinky colour and one is a bit more vibrant but this is the Revlon Colour Stay Moisture, Stay Moisture Stain in 020 Rio Rush and I just really love this. I think it's so beautiful. It's going to be perfect going into spring, but it's not sticky. And when it does fade off a little bit, it also still gives a real sort of nice pinky um, tone to the lip. I suppose that's the stain, but it stains like a really soft colour, but it's not sticky. It hasn't got that lip gloss texture that is kind of like gooey. Um, and I really, really love it. And I love the packaging as well. I think it's got like a really classy look to it. The next product that I've been loving is also from Benefit. And I've been going for a bit more of a natural... Um, look with my makeup. I haven't really so much today, but I have been going for the really soft sort of pinks and I've really been loving the Benefit Dandelion um, blush and I just really really like this. It's a really soft pink blush. It goes on really really well and I think it just adds a really nice little um, just little bit of a rosiness to the cheeks, which I think is really really nice, but I think these are so overpriced. I think they're so expensive for a blush and I think I'd only ever get them as gifts. I don't actually feel like I would be able to go out and spend that amount of money on a blusher. But um, I do really like it and it feels really soft. It feels really nice on the skin. So that has been a favourite of mine this month. I do feel I'm constantly drawn to it. The next thing from going from one quite expensive to something really, really cheap is the Makeup Academy or MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter. And this is in Iridescent Gold. And I just love this. I think this is so beautiful. I have it on today. Um, and I've been asked in a few videos what my highlight is as well, and it's this. And it's literally, I think it was something like three or four pounds for this. So cheap, it's so beautiful, like all the design on the inside. And it really does the job, so I don't really know what to say anything else about a highlighter, but I really like it. And the last one is also by MUA, and it is a eyeshadow palette, and this is in Dust Till Dawn. And I've been really drawn to this one here, which is a really lovely like champagne tone, which I've actually got on my eyes today and on the inner corners. Um, and then I've really been loving this white as well, that when I want a real pop in the corner of my eye, I've really liked that. I just think there's loads of beautiful colours. The purples are really nice. But I, um, I keep getting drawn to this one and this one this past month. They're £4 for a palette, super, super cheap. 
and well they've got so many different colours and they've got loads of different designs as well so if you want an eyeshadow palette or you're you're starting out on makeup then I'd absolutely recommend that you go and check them out because they're really pigmented and they, they feel really nice as well and they last on me pretty much all day at work which is quite impressive because I do have quite, even though I've got dry skin, I've got quite oily eyelids and for them to last on me without an eyeshadow primer on it is pretty amazing. So they're my makeup favourites. Moving on to hair, I've actually only got one favourite and I got it from Dan in my stocking for Christmas and it is the Gold um, Travel Compact Tangle Teaser and it's just been a lifesaver because I would use my, which I've got it here, um, my other one and it's just like it's all fraying and it's just because it hasn't been looked after because I'd chuck it in my bag and all the, um, the little like bristly bits would bend and, and I just then it's not going to do the job that it's meant to it's not going to prevent the split ends so I think the fact that it's got this little bit that protects it is brilliant perfect size it fits in my little bag that I put inside my handbag um, and I really love it I think it looks really nice and every time I get out a lot of people go oh what's that um, and I'm like oh it's my tangle teaser and I get really excited about it and I just think it's really beautiful colours and I have wanted one for so long and when Dan got it for me I was over the moon so I've really been loving that because I just think it's a good way for me to like look after my hair throughout the day and yeah but that's my only hair favourite Moving on to skincare and kind of body one thing I've really been loving and I actually got this I think it was in a glossy box a couple of months ago and I was like oh I'm gonna save it for no it wasn't a glossy box it was my vegan kind box and I was gonna save it for January and I did and I started using it and it's the organic surge super fresh awakening body wash this is fragranced with Mei Cheng and bergamot and I tell you what it's just so refreshing it's a really lovely like natural awakening scent it's it's kind of herby smelling but it does feel really fresh. It's really nice on my skin. It's not been drying me out at all. I love the packaging of it. So I think it looks just really, really like classy. It's really nice. It feels really nice. And I've just been really loving it. Anyway, while I'm also in the shower quite often, I've been loving every couple of days, been using the Michael Todd Tropical Fruit Enzyme um, Exfoliant Scrub. And I heard loads of people raving about this on YouTube so long ago. And I was just like, it can't, you know, everyone was saying how amazing it smelled. I was like, I can't smell that great. Like, they keep going on about it. It does smell so good. And literally, you need the tiniest amount. And it just does my whole face. And I, when I bought it, I did only buy, I think, was this 50 mil? 40 mil. Um, because I didn't want to buy the full one in case I didn't really like it. But I have been using it. I started using it middle of December because I've had really dry skin. And I all through January and literally I don't know if you'll be able to see because I can just see that the line comes down to about here and that's all I've used for that size so if I bought a full one I feel like that would last me about a year it's got 18 months on it so I really really like that good smell feels really nice on the skin and yeah it's good natural stuff then the last of my skincare and kind of body products is um, this, which is actually now finished, so this will be going probably in my empties. This is the Sanctuary Spa Active Reverse Body Titan Tone Body Serum. Now, I got this a really, really long time ago, and I used it a little bit and didn't really think it did anything, so I stopped using it, but... I looked in my cup and I thought, oh, I've still got so many products that need using up. And that's one of my things as well. I'm pretty good at using up my products, but I don't want to have masses of them around that are like half open. So another thing for me this year is that I'm really going to try and use up a product, unless I really don't like it. But if it's sort of good enough and I think, well, it's hydrating my skin or something, then I'm going to keep going with it. And this did that. It really hydrates my skin. Smells amazing. It's such a gorgeous lemony scent. I like the packaging. It's really easy with the pump. Um, it does say it locks up in locks like 24 hour moisture into the skin and it truly does it is meant to tone up the legs bums and tums in just four weeks now I don't think it really did but I felt like it looked better so I don't really think it's actually doing too much but I think it looked better it felt really moisturized it smelled really nice and it was quite expensive I think it's about 10 pounds um, so I would expect it to have done a bit more than it did but if it was ever on offer, I would go and repurchase it because it was a really good moisturiser for me. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And it does, oh, it just smells incredible, guys. It's so good. Moving on to random favourite time. And even though I've done a whole video on, um, basically on Imperial Candles, which if you haven't seen it, I will have it linked down below for you. But 
Becky, my friend Becky got me this for Christmas and it was watermelon ice cream, which I'm so obsessed with watermelon. You're probably like, yeah, Steph, we know. Um, but I've been burning it down. You can see I've burnt quite a bit of it. Oh, it just smells so good. And it's not super strong either that it would give you like headaches or anything. It's a really lovely, um, just quite a nice soft, sweet smell. It really smells like the watermelon sweets. I absolutely love it. It burns down really, really well. It's a gorgeous smell, really just a decent amount of output. Um, and then when I got my jewellery, I actually had on Instagram some people saying, oh, what did you get? And I got my ring here. Let me just take my other ring off. I pop this on so you can see. It's actually got a bit of an engagement ring look to it, which I think was really pretty. And I really, really like it. Oh, I can't get it off. Um, I think it's so nice. It was at the value of £20. I wanted to keep it on so I could show you. And it is sterling silver. So I think that was really, really lovely. And I've just been obsessed with it. For TV shows, I have joined the kind of scandal bandwagon now and I was feeling like I needed a new series to get into that I could watch just like on a catch up and I knew scandal had a few series out so I gave it a go. The first few episodes I didn't really get into, then oh my god I just binge watched the whole of season one, then about two episodes of season two and I said to Dan I won't watch any today because I'll wait for him to get home because he started getting into it as well but I actually really really like it and I'm quite, I'm still on season two, so don't tell me anything, guys, don't ruin any surprises for me. But I actually think it's a really good series and I've really got into it, so that's definitely been a TV favourite of mine. And my favourite YouTuber um, has been In The Fro, and recently she's just been able to go full time as a YouTuber, so I was really, really excited for her. I think that's brilliant. If you haven't checked her channel, I will have it linked down below for you. She's really lovely, and she used to work in education as well, that's what she stopped doing. So I really felt like I related with her a little bit on that. Um, but yeah, she's really nice, I'm really pleased for her. So if you haven't checked her out, then I'll have her link down below, like I said. But that's it, guys. That's pretty much everything that I've been loving for January and I'd love to know some of the things you've been loving or any recommendations for me so let me know in the comments down below and I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys next time bye guys